Hi everyone, my name's Mark, welcome to my channel. I'm a 58 year old full-time ultra distance runner and I'm currently out training for my 1000 mile run through the length of the UK that I'm starting in a couple of months. So uh, hope you want to follow along, hit the old subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and uh, share it with someone who might be over 50 and is spending too much time sitting on their couch. I want to get people moving again. So I'm running this morning doing a light session because I've got a long run tomorrow and uh, yeah just getting myself ready and prepared to run a thousand miles which I'm really looking forward to. <coughs> Training's going to go really really well at the moment and uh, going to talk about that in this video so stick around. For me running is a 24 hour a day passion because it's not just about getting out and going for a run it's about the diet it's about the sleep it's about the recovery it's about the strength and core exercises it's about the mental work resilience training it's about all those things that come together to make a perfect run and they're Pretty much isn't something is called the perfect run it doesn't exist but the way you handle all the challenges of running in your races doesn't matter if it's 5k or 100 miles it's all the same it's all about what's going on up here so i place an equal amount of importance on all of those areas in my training because one, I want to become a world champion at my age group and secondly you got to look after your body so just going out and running miles doesn't cut it for me oh, and training in a place like Cancun here it's tough that's what I want I want tough Now I'm saying all these things because I've tried them. It's not a philosophy, it's not a something I've learnt off YouTube. It's uh, something I've experienced firsthand. I'm putting all these theories into practice and I'm creating my own ones which work for me and that's really important. There's not one size fits all when it comes to running and training. You've got to twink around and you got to find what works for you. Oh, it was a good easy run this morning and uh, getting ready for my long run tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. I love long runs. It's just something about it. it. Makes you feel really, really good. So it's been six weeks since I had COVID um, or the last of COVID and I started training again. And in that six weeks, I focused on just building up my time on feet. So. I don't care about how many kilometers I run every day or every week or every month. I focus purely on time on feet because that's where endurance comes, is getting that aerobic conditioning into your body. And it doesn't matter how slow you run. I, I, do, I use the Maffetone method. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. There's thousands of videos on YouTube talking about the Maffetone method. And I'm just doing that because I'm creating a diesel engine that can run all day and all night. That's my goal. 
and that's where I believe I'm going to have the advantage over my competitors in my races so I'm focusing on just getting as many hours into my legs as I possibly can and at the moment my long runs around two hours tomorrow I'm going to go either 2.30 or three hours and uh, as the weeks go on I'll be pushing that up now I don't wait a week to increase my mileage because I'm running every day I'm feeling good I'm recovering with a shorter run like today was a shorter run 40 minutes um, low intensity I call that a recovery day so instead of having a day off I just do a short run easy run and get myself back into the frame ready for the next day so tomorrow around 2 hours 30 and then another recovery day which will be a short run and then push it on a little bit more now I've just finished my run I've had a few people ask me what do I do for my run uh, nutrition and also pre-run routine uh, I get up use the bathroom like most people and I go and have a few mouthfuls of a Red Bull type drink it's not Red Bull I don't like that stuff but it's a Red Bull type drink with no sugar and uh, I'm not a coffee drinker so a little bit of caffeine works wonders for runners but I take a couple of mouthfuls of this energy drink and it seems to do the trick for me so I'm not a scientist or a microbiologist so I can't tell you exactly what it's doing but it's obviously giving me a bit of a buzz it wakes me up it feels gives me that that edge uh, to get out there and get going then I take uh, half a small bottle of water about 150 mils of water and then I go into my warm-up routine which lasts for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes so I'm doing a lot of dynamic exercises I will include a video soon on that what I actually do and that gets me really warmed up ready to get into my run so when I hit that first kilometer or first mile I'm feeling already into the run I'm not having that kind of waking up process I never use the run as a wake up process and that way the mind stays a lot sharper as well so you're really really into uh, the run very early on and then when I finish the run like now I will go back and have within about 30 minutes of finishing the run I'll have a protein drink um, which is just water and protein powder I don't put anything else into it and then I have a uh, some electrolytes so uh, topping myself off and then within an hour or two I'll have something to eat which will consist of some breakfast so probably some eggs on a bagel or something like that so that's my pre-run routine and also my post-run routine uh, I have an ice shower or cold shower uh, every single day number of showers because I live in this hot sweaty place called Cancun um, so the cold showers are a staple of my diet have been for a long long time and uh, that really helps with the recovery as well uh, I jump in the swimming pool as well and spend 15 or 20 minutes there and at this time of the year in winter it's it's a bit cool <laughs> So that's good for the muscles as well to recover so yeah I go through a fairly mandatory recovery process and that brings me up the other side of my runs feeling really really good and um, yeah I don't have any muscle soreness or anything I just uh, I'm able to knock off these hours of running and and back up the next day and do it again and that's why I run seven days a week no rest day for me so uh, I think this week for those that do want to know <laughs> I'm going to be hitting over 100 k's in distance this week uh, so that's been a good build up and I'm going to keep building that up to 200 k's before I go to the UK to do my run and I hope to get to that stage probably around about the middle of April so before I leave for the UK for about two weeks I'm going to bring the, the time on feet right down so my body has a good time to recover I can put a lot of energy back into the body um, make sure I don't get ill and get ready to start this run from day one in really good shape so that's the plan that I'm going with at the moment and I think that's going to work for me uh, when it comes to getting ready for the UK so at the moment it's just over the next four or five weeks no more than that so it's going to be about eight weeks over the next eight weeks it's about just building up time on legs and getting those 
long runs in it's the key for me in the uk i'm going to be running around about between a half marathon and 30 kilometers per day for 60 days so that's going to be the workload um, today is day 53 of my current running streak so i took on this running streak because i wanted to run 365 days in a year um, and i also wanted to practice running day after day after day and just getting my body used to that and my mind as well so yeah feeling really really good with that and have no issues really so whatever i'm doing it must be working for me because i'm not having any any issues at all i'm still playing around with the diet so many of you might have watched my videos and know that i tried the carnivore diet didn't work out for me because of pre-consisting medical conditions that i didn't know about and uh, i've dialed that back in the last few weeks so i'm more or less in a keto space at the moment and i'm going to be looking if i'm going to change that or keep that um, i'm quite happy to do low carbs and keep the high fat content going Whoop, sorry i'll just put that there because i really believe that's the way to go for me and i'm going to do a whole video on this diet war stuff because i just can't believe how aggressive people get about what what they're eating and how firmly they believe in it you know and anyway that's another story but yeah so from a diet point of view i'm consistently around the keto area at the moment and uh, still eating a lot of meat so that's important I, I really want to get into my longer races with a good fat adaptation process going on i'm a firm believer in this advancement in nutrition and that being fat adapted has so many benefits other than trying to stick carbs in and getting fuel from carbs i don't believe that's the right way to do it for me so uh, i'm going to be practicing and training on all these things so that i can go into my races in the optimal level and get the best performance so there you go that's that's an update on where i'm at at the moment it's all going very very well um targeting a few long runs this week and uh looking at some gear that i need as well for the uk run so lots of things we've started a checklist the wifey and i and uh, we're going to work our way through that to see what we can we can get it's costing a lot of money this so we have to be careful because we're on a we're on a budget and uh, we don't have any sponsors yet so we're looking at just getting the necessity as far as gear goes that gets me through the run and uh, we'll see what we need so i might show that in another video if you're interested to to know more about the gear side of things okay well it's time for me to go and do some recovery thanks very much for watching my videos if you like my content if you want to follow my journey running through the uk this year running through new zealand this year and doing a 365 day running challenge on top of that carnivore diets keto diets all the other things there's lots of things packed into these videos so and uh, i'll be back again soon in the next video until then stay safe stay well everyone and uh, if you can get out and go for a run it'll do your world a good see you later bye